Okay. So I'd like to respond to the second negative points. A couple of points that were made were that uh, our presence in Iraq is making us lose our allies and gaining world hatred towards us. However, Obama's plan isn't just to take out troops from Iraq. It's to take them out, but put them into Afghanistan. So if we're taking out troops and putting them into Afghanistan, what's the difference of fighting in Afghanistan versus Iraq? The, the world still not looking down, is, is still looking down upon it. They're not going to like it. So really there's, there's kind of not much of a point being made there. We're, we're going to get world hatred no matter where we go, according to Obama's plans. Also, if, if we cannot afford to spend all this money, uh, was about $1.5 billion in a couple weeks, so somewhere, you know, upper $30 billion a year, you know, how can we not afford to do that but put all of our soldiers into Afghanistan? It's, it's the same amount of time, or it's the same amount of money that we'd be putting there. Um, and according to Obama, like I said, but we will spend that much, $1.5 billion in two weeks on Afghanistan, and costs about to skyrocket with additional troops sending to Afghanistan. His goal is to train 54,000 new soldiers and police officers in 33 months. Now that takes a lot of money to train thousands of soldiers and police officers, and then to put them over there in Iraq, supply them, and equip them. Uh, truly, we're not saving any money by carrying out this plan. If anything, we may be increasing our, our spending money. Um, the U.S. recruiting has gone down. Well, yes, the recruiting has gone down because most people do, just do not want to stand in the way of a bullet. Um, there's not really much to dispute about that. I, I myself wouldn't, I want to join the military, I would not like to stand in front of the bullet. Um, another point was made that in 2003, there was the most terrorist attacks at that time. Well, there was the most terrorist attacks at that time because that's when we were moving in. In 2003, that's when we started the occupation of Iraq. So yes, they will be the highest because we haven't gone in yet. It was in, in the March of 2003 is when we entered. Um, also, another point that was made is that we were staying indefinitely. Uh, I do not believe we specified staying indefinitely. It, it was more of we would like to stay until it is stabilized which it could be indefinitely, but we're not saying it is, because it also couldn't be. And as the, the negative side has said, they are improving. So maybe a couple of years down the road, yes, they will be ready for us to pull out. And I think that's it.